What does it feel like being involved with this project? This is such an iconic structure. It is. It's uh, it's really good actually. It's really challenging. Uh, you know, I've done an awful lot of big structures over the years in terms of railway structures as well. Um, and the, the, the kind of the planning and the, the history of it, I, I always take a lot of interest in. Tell me about the history, because I mean the Victorians built this bridge. Yeah, well, it, the, 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 the structure has been here for over 150 years now. Um, what I would say about that is that most of the timber in there won't be from then. Uh, a lot of the stuff that's, that's under the seabed is likely to be, but the rest of it will be, uh, somebody once described it as Trigger's Broom, it's basically you just replace sections over the years and such like, but it hasn't had this type of major overhaul for many, many years, back in the 80s when they did the uh, trade all worm um, works, was the last time it had any significant um, work done to it. But they built it to last, you know, they, they have been replacements inevitably, you know, because there's a lot of wear and tear on it, but the original design, the original structure, it was, it was built to last. Yeah, I mean, without a doubt, I mean, it, it survived all this time, it, it, even though bits have been replaced, the actual the original concept still works really well. Um, and you know, okay, we're, we're replacing it like for like as part of its Grade Two star listing. But even if we weren't, you know, it's still a very good structure in terms of what it does. And in terms of the decay, what's causing that? I mean, is seawater a factor? What are the main issues? I mean, a, a lot of the timbers that we're replacing are effectively softwood timbers. So they're pitch pine, Douglas fir. Uh, they have a limited lifespan uh, because they're softwoods. You know, timber naturally decays. Uh, the environment that it, it's in is a very harsh environment here. So yeah, that's primarily the, the main cause. We've also had obviously the trade or worm infestation back in the 80s. There's still examples of, uh, of that in some of the, the smaller timbers that we've been taken out. Uh, so that, that also is one of the reasons. What are the additional challenges of working in this kind of a lane? Like because you've got the tide, you've got the weather. You're starting now in September through to December. Yeah, I mean, pure and simple. I mean, the, the way that we've, we've planned the works for the main deck works is to avoid the, the tidal influence. So the fact that this tide there doesn't really cause us any main concern because obviously as you see with the scaffolding, we're at that level, tide never gets to us there. We'll move the scaffolding either at low tide when it's not critical or we'll use the actual tide and use pontoons. And the remaining works, we've got another 43 piles to change underneath, which we have to do while the trains are not running obviously. That is tidal. Uh, and again, we've, we've developed a good pattern in terms of how we work in terms of that, but I mean, realistically, we have like a five to six hour window from a tidal point of view. Without a doubt, the wind is singularly our biggest issue. Um, the cranage that we're using is quite specialized cranage. Uh, it has a higher limit than normal cranes. It's got up to 28 miles an hour. Uh, but even then, obviously, you know, we are expecting that we are going to be blown out at times, um, which is why we plan it the way we do. Another reason why we have six weeks worth of day and night at the beginning is to take advantage of hopefully the, the better weather window. Can you do it because it's a tight, it's, you know, all being well, it's a tight time scale, it's a tight time scale. It is a tight time scale, there's contingency built into that both uh, within the, the possession and then towards the end of the possession. Um, I'm confident that we can do it. Um, touch wood, I haven't really failed um, in terms of uh, delivering one before so yeah, I'm pretty confident.